Hi guys, my name is here. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Guys, please don't mind my skin tone today because I am completely dark and I have done self tanning. I slept with this all night. That's called Bone the Scent. It's just one of my favorite. But tomorrow, I hope that I'm gonna look much, much better because right now I feel like really dark. Guys, today's video, I'm going to share with you my makeup tutorial of 2020. That is really in a half day of the makeup tutorial. They feel like I've done similar video to these like about one year and a half ago, but I feel like that my skills just got much better, if I can say that. Yeah, I can say that. I'm also going to share my tips for beginners. It's just gonna be a very natural, easy makeup tutorial that you can do every day when you're really short on time. So guys, if you want to see me doing my makeup tutorial and learn some beginner tips, just keep watching me. So first of all, I am going to moisturize my skin and just to give it a boost of hydration. I am going to use the Binfei Multivital. and on my neck as well and the next thing i'm going to use is to prime my skin i'm going to use this tatcha silk canvas primer this primer is basically to mattify the skin and i really like using a primers that actually mattify the skin this primer is just like really good it's also mattifying the skin the tatcha primer is like about 52 dollars so i know that is expensive for some of us but I feel like that this one is completely worth it. Of course, that if you are a beginner and you just want to find your way and you just want to find your favorite products and what you like to use, so definitely go to any drug store. The foundation that I'm going to use that extremely dark, but like I said, I am extremely dark, so I guess I have to adjust myself to my skin tone. I'm going to use this MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And the shade over here is A29. I don't use any beauty blender or any sponge. I'm just gonna go with a blower foundation. If you are a beginner, you want to make sure that you're using a sponge. It will be for you much easier to blend all the makeup and it also look much more matte. And I'm just gonna go and apply it on my face. By the way, if you are a beginner and you're not sure which foundation brush to use, if you want your foundation to be a full coverage, I will recommend using a really thick brush right here, which is really, really thick. And don't use the very fluffy one because that will give you a very sheer makeup look. So you really need to know what your preference are. If you like a very sheer makeup, so use a very fluffy brush. Or if you like a very full coverage makeup, so just use a very thick and nice brush right here. Now, basically, whenever I do my makeup, I'm actually going to my jawline and my neck as as well but I understand that because you are a beginner you don't want to go and just do very extra steps so just go a very little bit under the jawline and just blend it over here and then we're going just over this um, with a bronzer so everything just looks in place This concealer right here, it is really nice. It just gives you the airbrush effect, which I really like. And it also gives me a nice and full coverage under my eyes. So I'm just gonna go and take this concealer. By the way, the shade over here is out. I just like to go and just take a very little bit just under my eyes, besides my eyes, and a little bit over here on the chin. So that is the very basic, you don't want to go and do the whole triangle thing and do the very advanced techniques that actually, I feel like they're very happy for your everyday makeup. So you just want to do something that's very natural. I'm just gonna go with a sponge by way of technique and I'm just gonna go and blend everything in. And the next step that I'm going to do is to set my makeup. I don't want you to go and just all over the face because that is the first mistake that you can do as a beginner. It's really important to use just a little bit, just a little bit under the eyes in the areas that you highlight them and that will give you a very nice matte makeup that will last for you for all day. I'm going to use this Morphe setting powder right here in shade translucent. So you can use a brush or you can use a sponge. I just like to go with this, with this sponge right here because like you see the shape over here, just like so much easier for me to apply it all over the face. 
I just like to go a little bit under my eyes just like that in this shape and I'm just doing the same thing over here after I just put my setting powder I'm just gonna go with a powder wash and just wipe everything out I'm going to do is to bronze my face a little bit to a little bit sculpt my face kind of and to do a little bit of contour I'm not gonna do a very heavy contour I'm gonna use this powder bronzer over here the shade over here is Bajan Jaya and I'm just gonna go with a bronzer brush right here and just scrub a little bit of the bronzer and then I'm just gonna go in my cheekbones when you go in the cheekbones you don't want to rub it on the face Kind of you just want to go and tap into the skin and I also like to go with the bronzer just in my jawline the same over here and that's what we got a very nice shaped defined jawline right here without heavy contour techniques so the same thing I'm going to do in my forehead line which is this one right here so I'm just gonna go and take the bronzer from the sides of my brows and I'm just going up a little bit and again I keep tapping the bronzer I don't rub it on my face we don't want to have a strokes in our face because then it just doesn't look natural and I'm just gonna go from here all the way in my forehead I'm go and take this blending brush right here and just grab a little bit of my concealer you don't have to have a contour stick or a contour powder and i'm just gonna go in straight line like that same thing over here and because we don't want it to be that harsh i'm just gonna go with a powder brush and just kind of blend it away on my eyes, I'm not gonna do anything crazy today because again, I just want to keep it natural as much as I can. So I'm just gonna go with this bronzer today. Again, this bronzer is definitely our style. And I'm just gonna go with a blending brush, the same brush that I use on my nose. I'm just gonna use it a little bit on my eyelid. I'm just gonna go from my crease just a little bit just to add a little bit color because we don't want to we don't want the eyes to be completely white. We want it to be involved with all of the makeup look. And I'm just gonna go that way in my quiz. I'm just gonna use this blush right here, which this one is by Maybelline Fit Me. And the color is 40, the shade is peach. And I'm just gonna go and just use a little bit on my apple so what i like to do is just to take a brush brush and just kind of tap it on my apples and going all the way up and it's really comfortable to use the brush brush like that and not that way because what's gonna happen that way you're just gonna press this very hard but if you use it that way you just lose it you just use it very light and gentle and you're just gonna go that way it's just like so much easier it just comes to the skin so much prettier as well this one by Vanessa Marix this one is called light work pad and I'm going to use this shade right here that's called common sense But you also, what I like to do is just go on my nose just like that. I'm just taking my fingertips, just like so simple, just in my bridge nose and also in the tip. So right now I'm supposed to use a false lashes and I was wondering do I need to use false lashes because in my everyday I normally don't wear any false lashes and my mask is really full face glam makeup. But you guys if you like using fast lashes and you want to try i really don't recommend as a beginner because it's just taking from you so much time to learn how to apply it correctly you want to start from mascara my favorite mascara by far is these definitions by lancome this one is a really natural mascara that really define your eyelashes make them much longer and it's really nice i'm just gonna go and show you how it looks on my eyelashes
And the next step is the lips. I'm going to use this nude lip pencil by Lancome. This one is my very go-to lip pencil. It just goes with any nude pink lipstick, which is the nude area kind of. So I really like this. It's really easy to overline my lips. So what I like to do is just to go on the bottom, just like that, and just on the top. And the next thing that we need to do is just to connect the bottom and the top. And the next thing that I actually use in my everyday too, I am going to use this Fanny Beauty glass balm right here. And I don't even use a lipstick, just lip gloss, and that's all. Always remember to set your makeup, especially if you want your makeup to be last for all the day. So I am going to use this Morphe Satin Spray right here. And I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, actually. And that's it. I am ready to go. Alrighty, guys, so that was my makeup tutorial. And I also shared with you some tools and tips for beginners. And I really hope that I helped you with this video and that you like this look. This is my everyday makeup tutorial. It's super natural for me. If you want to remove some things or if you want to skip some steps, you definitely can. And I really love this makeup tutorial. This makeup, I feel like it's something that I'm going for almost every day and that's it you guys if you're new here just make sure to subscribe my channel and press on the bell right here so make sure and not to miss any of my future content and i will see you next video bye bye isn't worth a dime and we nail them all i know you're the one